So today we will uh, look at hands-on experience on T1 Launchpad. So we will start from installing Code Composer Studio, which is uh, ID for T1 Launchpad, and then how to write program in that CCS, how to uh, import different libraries and different support files to run this program successfully, how to build the program and debug it into the microcontroller board. So yes, we will start from installing this uh, CCS. Uh, so you all are provided with this PDF file, this workshop PDF file and it is uh, self-explanatory about uh, somehow the basics of the TIVA and uh, installation also as well as there are some uh, basic programs you can look at. Uh, so yes, we will start from this chapter 1 which is which is uh, particularly the hardware and software requirement for this uh, TIVA. So, here in this chapter you can uh, see this uh, in, this is the information about the TIVA peripherals and launch, how the launch pad works and uh, yes this is lab 1 hardware and software setup so we will directly go to the software so yes in at this page you will get this link this is the link for downloading the CCS software so you can directly click on this link and uh, we will go to this uh, site which is having this uh, CCS software uh, yes, so this software is available for Linux users as well as uh, Mac OS users and as well as this Windows users. Uh, according to your configuration of your system, you can uh, download whichever is uh, preferable for your machine. So my machine is Windows 10 and it is 64, so I am going to download this one. Yes. So it will uh, take some time because uh, it is having so i have already downloaded it you can see here so i am not going to download it again so once you download it you can go to this uh, downloads and from here you can unzip the file and uh, unzip it in same folder i am unzipping it oh yes uh, unzipping is completed and uh, we go to the downloads again where are so this is the folder and uh, okay so you have to directly uh, install this then you can run this uh, yes and while uh, like while installing you can take care of some things like you can see in this uh, pdf file only that you have you can accept this license agreement then next then you have to select one folder and uh, you have to change the actually main installation folder to the c-ti file and uh, after this like i will tell also so first of all next then we are going to accept the agreement then next then operate this to ok this is ok so Okay. Next. Okay. Then uh, installation directory. Next. And validating installation directory. So uh, full installation is actually not needed because it will uh, consume lot of space. So particularly we are only going to use a Tiva C launchpad. Uh, and so we can go for custom installation and we will install only the required files that are required for our T1 launch file. So yes, so here uh, you have to click on first of all this TM4C is our configuration this TM4C123 so this should be checked and EMSP also in uh, because some libraries support this EMSP so you have to check this also and this is at least recommended for example you can see that here also after this MSP and TRC should be checked and then we can go next yes it is loading huh. so here 
uh, spectrum digital debug probes and boards is okay a black hawk is not required for our uh, device you can see this also in this here that uh, we have to uh, in this debug section this black hawk is not required so yes we can we, we will uh, continue with this sake that black hawk is not, not required And uh, please note the following debug program boards are not supported. So these uh, these boards will not be supported because we have not checked this uh, black hawk. And uh, basically we are not going to use this. We our is uh, TM four C one two three or TWC series. So it is okay for us. And now setup is now ready to begin installing. So yes, next. So this is now installing. Uh, just for uh, this, I can I will say because this is window for me, uh, CCS5. This PDF is during CCS5, so this type of debug section may may be there in previous uh, um, versions. So for now, you will take care that you are not uh, checking this black hole because it is not required. Uh, that's it. Uh, no other issue because you can here also see that uncheck this black hole in Spectrum Digital unless you are planning to use this. Uh, so we are not planning to use so we are not requiring this so it will take some time now for installing yes uh, so installation is uh, completed now so create a stop sh shortcut yes Now it is now I think created. Yes, this is code number should have it is now installed. Now uh, let's move to another part. Now this is software is installed, but for running the program we will need some driver files and support files and that are uh, that can be obtained from here. Right? This is a TWAware library. So this is file name and from here we can uh, get this. Otherwise, you are also provided with this installation guide. Here also, all these links are uh, mentioned. And uh, this is this is TI RTI OS, uh, RTOS uh, lib uh, library file, similar to this one. So, uh, going to this now. So, here in downloads we are uh, downloading it for our, our offline kind of uh, thing this uh, ccs we are going to uh, operate in offline mode so there is another ccs cloud is also for that we can download this one for for, for, for now we are going to download this tvware for c series software complete so uh, download options and here you can also see uh, this is one two three for one two three for one two nine ours is one two three gxl and uh, this is for this is the full release but for now we can download this uh, full release because uh, after some time we can go for this one to nine if we wanted like that so here uh, you can provide your email id so i will provide mine So you can create your account by putting your institute name and all these things like this is your institute name, country name is this and uh, okay, so we are going to use this as for us civil we can say and I certify all this yes we are not going we are going to use this for our we can say as a student version so submit now we can download this. Uh, download it from here uh, so yes we can download this but i think i have downloaded this uh, even before okay, so no so i can download this here
so yes uh, this is now downloaded uh, so we have to download it and now install it in this uh, particular folder so C and TI so you can go to this downloads and from here we have to install this one this is a, a TWR installation files next license the agreement oh. yes next agree next ah, so uh, this is ok no issue next and install ok so this installation is completed now finish okay so uh, you can you can go here this uh, c this ti and here the, this is the tower which is containing all this uh, you can go to this okay, you can see all this driver files and uh, this particular is our ccs installation software uh, okay so uh, this is the installation procedure basically now we will look at how to um, like write the program in this uh, CCS and build this program so open this you can uh, give any uh, name or any location as per your comfort like um, you can go uh, give me any day or year also uh, now for now i will keep it as it is and uh, launch so basically this is workspace and every time you will start this ccs it will uh, start it will give your last uh, workspace name and in one workspace you can create a number of projects there is no limit but if uh, you are using uh, uh, like planning different applications and you are planning different workspace for different applications so it is also possible you can give different workspace or your different types of uh, programs ok so this uh, is open So uh, this window will be there when you will open the CCS for the first time. Uh, yeah, you can go to this uh, some tutorial videos if you want or this user's guide and things like this. So uh, for now I am going to just close this and now we will start like we will write one of the program like simple editing linking program. So go to files then new ccs project and here you need to uh, this uh, set this target uh, whatever the device you are using according to that you have to select this so currently we are using uh, tiva c series and uh, in that tiva c series tm 4 c 123 gh 6 pm so whatever link we have provided you for the purchase that one is this PM1 TM4C 123GH6PM to this one. And connection is sterilized E circuit debug interface. So if you by chance miss this step or by chance you will uh, you are going to do any mistake in this step, then your program will not build successfully. Uh, so take care whenever you are starting your project, take care to fill this uh, or select this uh, accurately. So now I will give this as a um, CCS trial one. Yeah. So empty project with main dot C and uh, finish. Oh yes. So in Project Explorer, Explorer, you can see your project. 
Uh, so if we, you can see under this project, there is this is a tm 4 cm 3 gs 6 pm dot cm range standard file. These two files are already get added because we have selected this uh, uh, our device in previous section only. So again, this target uh, configuration. So it is easier. It is now uh, our program can be built. So that uh, this is essential. Now here we can we have to add library files. We have to add different variables that we are going to use in this program. And this in uh, main dot void that main function we can uh, write our program basically. So for now, uh, because it is first program, I am going to give you just glimpses of how to build the program, how to run it successfully on this uh, T1 launchpad. So we will directly copy paste one of the program for uh, from this uh, particular launchpad workshop, which is provided for review also. So I think this is uh, lab three. Lab three, and so this is the initialization of G initialization and GPIO. This is the objective of this, and uh, you can blink the LED on this T one aspect. So okay, so uh, this is the complete program for uh, for this. I I will just uh, copy paste this program for now, and uh, later we will discuss whole things about this also. Okay, uh, so basically, I will just for better visualization, I will do this. Okay, so if this is then this condition and else, do this. Okay, so uh, these are the driver files basically which are required to run this program so uh, in this program in this particular program we are going to only use gpio pins that is generally input general purpose input output pins but when we will going to use a pwm or uh, we can say uh, qei pins then we need to add accordingly these driver link files so many many more driver files will be there as per required in our program so basically this is only simple program of LED linking which are on board it is on this development board only now I just I will show you uh, so this is build button so what will it does when we press build it will uh, check the program is correct or not and then uh, if we are getting the uh, message of build finished then our program is completely okay Otherwise, there will be some error or something missing in this program. And once our build is okay, like build finished with 100% accuracy, then we can go for this debug. So basically, debug what does this debug will uh, download the program into our microcontroller board or memory of the microcontroller. This is that is Tiva. So basically, I am having this Tiva with me. Tiva C123, TM2 C123, and uh, I am now connecting this to the uh, this TVA. so basically I am connecting laptop with the TVA. using the USB now uh, let us go for direct building so we can you can um, get some error and we will solve that error so build okay so uh, what here it is giving for now he uh, cannot open source file inchw memap.h so it is not opening this file why because we have not given the path for these driver files where are these driver files so we need to provide this path so how to resolve this error there are two ways i will discuss both of the ways first of all i will give one simple way that is, we have to right click on this project name in this project explorer and go to properties in properties go to this ARM compiler and include options so here we have to add directory browse we will here add directory of this our tiva installation or tiva where installation uh, we will add this part so it will uh, it will 
take whatever files or whatever libraries required in this program, it will automatically so, uh, uh, taken from this uh, file or this uh, library. So, this is the folder we are going to select this folder. So, this is directory, OK. And again, in ARM linker, file search path, go to add, and here also browse one. And here we are only providing particularly the driver link file. So uh, in C only TI TY where driver link in this way. So we will uh, go to CCS debug and this driver link dot link. So this file we will link with this uh, particular project. So apply and close. Now we will go to build it again. Uh, yes, so build is finished without any error. So here there is no any error and uh, build is finished now. So you can also observe one thing the, the, the color of this sys uh, clock, CPL clock set or sys, uh, like we can say system control peripheral enable, GPIO pin type input output, general purpose output, like that. So these are the functions. So basically these functions are, we can call it as API functions. So now this uh, color of this is API function is, is now changed. It is uh, because it is now, these files are now connected or we can say they are linked now. So this color is changed and our uh, program is now okay or error free. So we can now go for downloading that program on our microcontroller board. Now, just I will explain this program with uh, just quickly. So these are uh, nothing but driver files which are required for C programming. This is STDI integer like int dot h and boolean algebra for boolean algebra. This is std bool dot h. So this is for um, pin mapping of this TY microcontroller and types of pin. Then this is for system control uh, like for hardware configuration. And this is for uh, GPIO H like we are going to use general purpose input output pins. And so uh, this driver file should be added. And this is a uh, integer u int 8.8. .8, it is a uh, we can say is a 8 bit integer. We can uh, we can have 16 bit or 32 bit integer. Uh, so we have given initial value of 2. Now system control clock says what it is. It does it uh, it sets our clock like uh, Tiva clock or microcontroller clock to some frequency. So here it is giving uh, 40 megahertz frequency. Uh, with, uh, you, you can see how it is 40 uh, megahertz and all these things in here in this lab file also. That this uh, system clock is uh, you can see this is a 16 megahertz uh, crystal and uh, which crystal drives the 400 megahertz uh, PLL. So now we have divided it by the system uh, div divisor. We have applied divisor of five. So 400 divided by 5, uh, it is 80 megahertz and there will be one default divider of 2, you can see here. So because of that, our system clock is now 40 megahertz. Now you have, we have enabled peripheral F because the onboard uh, LEDs which are there on Tiva microcontroller board, they are connected to the PF like uh, EF port basically. So PF1, PF2 and PF3. PF1 is uh, red LED, PF2 is uh, blue and PF3 is green LED. So basically we have enabled this port EF and then as we are going to give uh, signal to this uh, LEDs, so this is we have configured at, uh, these pins as a GPIO output. So PF1, PF2 and PF3 pins are uh, configured as general purpose input output main output so while loop is continuous of forever loop we can say so it will run forever after this three lines and uh, so here gpio pin write port f 1 2 and 3 and here we can first of uh, at first we will get 2 so there will be one pin masking concept we are going to share uh, two three sample programs with you so in that i have already explained with uh, all these things of pin masking so basically uh, this, this two will be get converted in binary uh, this will be one zero and uh, this port f is having uh, eight uh, registers eight registers and uh, so for example if we, if we see 
एट रजिस्टर एज जीरो 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 सो एट टाइम्स सो वन जीरो विल एनेबल पिन वन आई विल गिव यू वन वन एग्जाम्पल सिंपल एग्जाम्पल लाइक कोर्ट यम इज हैविंग एट रजिस्टर्स फॉर एट पिन एंड सो इन बाइनरी वी कैन राइट इज एट पोर्ट यम एज जीरो 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 इनिशियल वैल्यू वी कैन से सो वेन वी आर गोइंग टू गिव इट अ वैल्यू ऑफ टू सो इनिशियल वैल्यू इज टू सो वेन वी वी गिव इट टू सो इन बाइनरी इट विल कन्वर्ट टू दी जीरो 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 वन जीरो सो फ्रॉम दिस दिस वन विल दिस वन विल बी करस्पॉन्ड टू पी एफ जीरो एज पोर्ट एफ पिन जीरो लाइक दैट पी एफ वन पी एफ टू पी एफ थ्री पी एफ टू दी पी एफ सी वन सो वन जीरो विल विल मेक एल ई डी रेड ऑन ओके इट विल बी फॉर दिस मच डिले दिस डिले इज ऑल्सो गिवन इन टर्म्स ऑफ लूप्स of cycles not in a clock cycles but it is loop and one loop is equal to three clock cycles so basically for one second delay we can have a clock cycle divided by 3 like that uh this value loop will be clock cycle divided by 3 for one second after this delay it is now doing zero zero uh, giving this uh, uh, zero to the poor df so zero will now make all the leds off now there will be again delay of this uh, time and then if it is the pin is 8 this this particular variable is 8 then make it as a 2 otherwise multiply it by 2 so first of all at first it is 2 so 2 by 2 uh, into 2 4 so again in another uh, so next time it will give value of 4 and 4 will be like 100 so it will make a blue led on after that again it will multiply by 2 so 8 so 100 it will make green led on like that Once it make uh, once it is eight, then it will again go to the two value. So in this way, we will uh, this yeah, red, blue, and green LED will be blinking one after one another, one after another continuously. So now we will uh, debug this particular program to this T1. So okay. So the period finish and now it will be. Download for uh, last time. So yes, it is uh, downloaded. Here you, you can actually see here also. It is a hundred percent downloaded, but it's still taking some time. Yeah. Now yes, when it is uh, available on our uh, launch pad, then here you can see there will be one uh, resume button and there will be one stop or terminate button. Uh, now our uh, launch pad is not showing anything now because once we will resume this, then only the program will be run on this uh, launch pad. So now I go to uh, resume it. And then you can see that red, blue, green, red, blue, green, red, blue, green, like that. So, yeah. So this is this is what the program is. Uh, now, uh, if you want to, uh, you can try yourself and play with it and with different LEDs and for different delays, like that. You can do. But for now, I will show you another one very interesting, uh, we can say, facility provided by the CCS. We can, uh, we can at a real time we can observe these uh, variables, the values taken by variables. For example, uh, here in this program we are having this U uh, UI eight pin data variable. So select it, right click on it, then add to watch expression. So once you add to watch expression, here you can see this is added. And now we we have to click on continuous refresh so that it will continuously change its value according like in real time. So you can see two eight four two. If we uncheck this continuous refresh, then it will remain as it is. And as we press this continuous refresh, then it will continue continuously give us a real time value of this variable. So it is uh, actually very 
important in terms of when we are going to capture this encoder data from motor for capturing the position and speed of the motor also like uh, in any any variables that are uh, changing in um, our program and we are going to use that in anything or to plot graph or do something in that case we, this this facility is very important so also you can see this uh, we can increase this uh, or uh, in other words decrease this continuous refresh interval to be 100 milliseconds maybe i think 100 is the minimum you can see this value must be integer at least 100 milliseconds so 100 millisecond so apply and close so it will change in uh, 100 milliseconds so now you, you can see that, that this is 248 248 248 like that otherwise if uh, this uh, continuous refresh interval is more than our uh, delay then it will uh, actually drop some of the values like for 500 you can see for 500 it will directly throw, so it is 2 2 8 4 which is wrong actually it should go from like 2 4 8 2 4 8 so uh, so it is why wrong why it is wrong so because this continuous refresh time or interval is more than uh, the system uh, delay which we have provided in the program so we can give it as a 100 millisecond and now it will show us the 248 248 which is the actual values of this uh, resistor also we can uh, plot this in CCS only like uh, right click on this then go to the graph and uh, we can maximize this graph and here also we have to do as a enable continuous refresh you can see this is 2 then it is 8 2 4 8 2 4 8 2 4 8 like that so uh, yes so why it is important so because whenever you are using or you are requiring any input from the microcontroller like uh, uh, any signal or any uh, any input data from sensor like an encoder then we need these graphs and this uh, data. So this this data can also be expo exported in a uh, you can say Excel file also by using this. Like right click on this, then uh, data and export all. So for this we have to browse one Excel file which that should be there in our laptop. Any file we can provide and it can directly give it it will uh, uh, it will export all the data which is there here in this visible region so for this also we can uh, increase or decrease this sample time according to the your requirement of the data so you require a large number of samples or uh, less number of samples are also uh, okay for you accordingly you can change this sample set So this from graph properties display data size is there so currently it is uh, giving give you given us giving us uh, uh, 200 sample points so here we can change this to anything as required for by you and you can export the data so i can re resume it again so it will again start change so i will pause it will again pause i will i can resume it it will again resume like that so you can pause the program also however when you are going to terminate it is not going to stop after terminating you are actually terminating this window this debug window this graph and these things these things but your program will be running there on microcontroller so i have now stopped this or terminated this and uh, so this debug window is gone but still my program is running on the microcontroller so, okay.